Hi Star Wars fans and welcome to another video from Universal Collector. Today we are looking at Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch gaming grates. Yes, I've got the Shadow Stormtrooper and the Stormtrooper Commander. And they're already out of the box ready to have a look at. This is the uh, same mould as before with all the other Stormtroopers. You've got a new mould coming out soon, which would be the Rogue One Stormtrooper. But this is like the last remaining ones of the old mold. Yeah, lovely uh, battle damage, paint wear, really nice figure. Not my favourite, of course, but I will get on to my favourite one, <laughs> the shadow one. But yeah, head turns around. Pretty nice. Of course, you've got the gun, you've got the large rifle. We've got the standard E11 in the back, the holster. If I can get him out, <laughs> I don't understand this. They they sort of dry brush this with silver detail, but not this. I mean, crazy, isn't it? They could why don't they do both? But as you can see, it's got a holster and uh, gun slides in. It's quite nice and tight, which is you know it's pretty pretty handy. And you can actually, if you do, you can get the bigger rifle in the in the holster with a bit of a try, which is pretty cool. Yeah, you got a nice paint down the sides, the weathering. I mean, this is uh, there's a lot of weathering on this. We've still got the hole in the back. And I was thinking about it the other day. Why don't they just get one of these guns? Yeah, we've got this hole. Why don't you just put, I mean, well, how hard would it be to put a spigot that comes out and you could attach it to that hole, make use of that hole, and you could attach it on the back. For all those guys that have these out loose on show, well, that looked pretty cool with a big gun on the back and, and, then, and the rifle, then you could hold the E11 or you could have both weapons that have the spigot. But you won't need to, you've got a holster, haven't you? But yeah, this big gun, you could, you know, put them on like that. I think that look wicked. You know, just I've got this hole there. I know this is off the Sand Trooper backpack. No, that's what I used it for, but crazy, aren't they? Make use of it, make use of it. Crazy. But yeah, otherwise it's just, just yeah, say standard Stormtrooper, which everyone's seen. I'm not going to go into detail about all the, you know, you, these are, everyone knows these figures. But this, I'll give you one thing, all the joints are nice and stiff. You're always trying to break these things. But yeah, lovely figure. You can get me some cool poses. <laughs> always frightened to pose these things too much, so you're frightened to break them. But this one's always going to be in high demand. Army builder. We don't want too many commanders, do you? But great for photos. People that love taking the uh, photog toy photography. Yeah, just a great figure. Definite buy, definite buy. Have a quick look at the box. So the lovely black mat with the uh, embossed sort of uh, shiny Star Wars. We've got the uh, shiny sticker, nice blue. We've got this nice big picture on the back with a spiel. Stormtrooper down the side, Commander. Yeah, so it's a lovely box. So the colour makes it makes the figure pop. All those uh, inbox collectors, they must go mad for this. <laughs> right, just stick him back there. Now for my favourite out of the two, a Shadow Stormtrooper. It's uh, definitely knock out the park. This one, I know a lot of people don't like this figure. I think it's pretty cool. How they're sort of introducing the old translucent bits of plastic back in the day when i was a kid you sort of loved translucent figures and i still do like the tron figures can't beat enough of translucent <laughs> and maybe one day they're starting they'll make a holographic character and all translucent i think that'll be absolutely awesome so exactly same mold it's got the holster just i think what they've done is 
the legs and the arms are made of translucent blue and then they've just sprayed over them with the black and the silver to give it that sort of touch as you can see there's a lot of silver on the helmet there on the front but they've decided to like miss out on the boots they're really like black and they stand they look like slippers in a way but don't bother me i think some people out there who've got a who've got painting skills would probably just put a bit of silver over them lightly brush a bit of spray spray over them probably be okay i thought what i thought i'd do is get a get a light here and we can actually shine a light get behind it it's a nice effect you can see it all shining up it shows it up a lot better especially there on the legs you can get a if you can get this in a cabinet where you've got some lights get it positioned well but it here looks really cool yeah Closer look at low closer look at the helmet. The silver on. Look at the back. See they've got the hole on the back as well. I'm gonna keep saying it. They look quite cool. We had the gun mounted on the back, a bit Mandalorian style. <laughs> Be a nice touch. Yeah, you get it in all the standard poses. All the joints are nice and stiff. Shoulders, armor does go over the top. So frightening to you. see it's going over. It's got to play with it a bit. He's like just come out of the box. So yeah. Yes, there you go. Definitely, uh, definitely get these two. They're definitely. But that Shadow Trooper is really cool. I love that Shadow Trooper. I think I'd probably get a few more of them, maybe. But with a little army, definitely. But are they going to be... Uh, I think they're quite scarce now. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching my uh, video. Uh, any uh, new new people to the uh, channel, please like and subscribe. And uh, leave some comments. I always love the comments. I always try and reply to everyone. And uh, yes, thank you very much. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.